What is cinematography? That's a tough one. Simply, it's, it's photographing a film, but it's more complicated than that. It's interpreting a story and turning it into visual images. They say it's an art, but it's also a craft, you know? It's like if you're just a craft, like making a table, then you make the table and it's, it works. But if you're an artist too, then it's a cool looking table. But you don't want a cool looking table that falls apart, right? Um, when I was young, I made films, and so I thought, of course, I didn't know what cinematography was. I just thought, oh, I'm going to be a filmmaker, or that must mean director. But as I studied, went to the library, and read magazines and books, I realized there's the cinematographer, and I seem to identify with that better, because visually, I think I'm good. You know, writing and working with actors, not so much. I just worked on my craft, trying to be the best of what I thought cinematography was and hit the pavement and started getting small jobs and they kept getting bigger. So it was just a long, slow road, I guess, to where I am now. My first breakout film was probably 300. That's my first studio film. After that was Watchmen. I did a film called Sucker Punch. I did a movie called Now You See Me. I shot Super 8, Batman vs. Superman, Kong Skull Island, and then uh, recently The Predator. I think a young person, especially a student, should take as many classes as they can in different things, whether it's sound, editing, photography, directing, production design, um, and even acting, because as you try the different things, you'll see what connects with you, like it was for me. You'll see what your strengths and your weaknesses are, and then you can hone in what you're best at, and you should always do what you're best at. My ethnicity has never been a big problem. I think if you're behind the camera, I think no one cares, you know, your race, religion, anything as long as you're good, especially if uh, gender, as, as you know, last year a female for the first time was nominated for an Oscar for cinematography, It's awesome. So I haven't had any problems like that. If I was in front of the camera, it would be a totally different uh, story. But actually it's funny because, have you heard of this guy, James Wong Howe? He uh, was the most famous cinematographer back in the 50s, 60s, and Oscar winner, and especially back then, for someone to be a Chinese and in Hollywood and successful and in the crowd, um, kind of inspiring, although I never met him. I like food. I like to go to restaurants. I like to cook. I like to find restaurants when I travel. I like to, um, I like to cook here, but I also like music that's therapeutic. <laughs> I like magic a lot. I think I've done magic since I was a kid, and I think that maybe uh, affects how I do my job because I can think outside the box. And you know, if we do this and this, it might be really easy to make it look like this because film is all visual, right? And magic is visual, so it's making things look like something that maybe aren't really happening. So to me, magic and film are intertwined. Currently, one struggle I'm going through is that a couple of weeks ago, my cat was diagnosed with a hyperactive thyroid, and um, they had to take him and inject him with a radioactive isotope to help bring the tumor down. So he's been back, but they said for 14 days, I can't have him within three feet of me. All night long, he scratches at the door, and he cries, and then I have to say, like, go away. And um, so for 14 days, I can't uh, cuddle the cat, so that's been tough for me. And um, <laughs> the set is boring. <laughs> it's very seldom boring. But um, if no one's watching, I'll sometimes practice my magic because I like doing magic. And I can always have a deck of cards in my hand. And while I'm paying attention, I can do, be doing shuffling and weird stuff to, to keep nervous habit going. It's better than smoking or something, but still pack a day habit for me. I can do things like this, like, what card is that? I can't see it. What is that? Spades. Ten of spades. But then if I don't like the ten spades, I can go like, and I can like change it to a friend card. For me, it's taken me many years to find a good crew that I like. I think um, like any fit or any job, it takes a while before you find people that um, work together well, communicate well. And that takes uh, a long time because you go through different people, you go through different jobs, you learn together and you fail together. But it's important to have a good tight crew, otherwise you're nothing. Without my crew, I'm nothing.